Hello to me, it's Miguel Sam Possible. Miguel's my name is Tanfrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video and welcome to my 12th and final reaction to the young ones. So, uh, how I've done this series has been a bit unorthodox, is what I was looking for. Uh, I started with Series 2, Episode 2, because it was a Channel Points request, uh, and then it did very well. Like got like 50,000 views, which surprised the hell out of me because I hadn't had anything had that many views in a very long time. Uh, so I decided to do the rest of the second series, except for this episode. Uh, I also found out the first episode, the, the first series, I should say, the copyright's different, so I couldn't put it on YouTube. So I decided to do the whole first series all at once, which I released about a week ago. I released a complete first series on multiple platforms. Uh, so if you go to my page and just scroll, just like, maybe not even scroll, you can probably find it pretty easily if you haven't seen that. Uh, so now, we're back on YouTube for the 12th and final episode, episode 6 of series 2. Let's go ahead and finish this show off. Alright. 35 minutes is this last one. This intro is actually throwing me off. It's been a while since I've watched the Series 2 episode. <laughs> I'm like, wait a bit. Summer holiday. Michael! Don't broadcast the handle, Viv. <laughs> <laughs> My own safety means nothing, but the innocent must be protected. Ah, uh, fuck. Right. Of course, yes. Andrea? <laughs> yes? Do you think ants go to discos? Vivian, it is proved that ants are highly intelligent with a well-ordered society. The last thing they go to would be disco. <laughs> Well, why is that one wearing a silver boob tube, then? <laughs> Simple, Vivian. What? You're talking crap. <laughs> oh, got him. You'd have to get up pretty early in the morning to catch you out, Michael. You'd have to stay up all night. <laughs> got him, bud. <sighs> Term only finished four hours ago, and already I'm bored. <laughs> Surprised you'd go at all. That works. That was very metal. <laughs> oh, I hear Rick. Schools out, out for summer. Ah! Yeah, come on, everyone. Let all your hairs hang out. Do whatever you want. What's all the excitement, Rick? Has education finally been cut altogether? <laughs> That's the only reason I voted Tory. We're on holiday. Whoa. I finished my last exam and the summer term is over. Over? I didn't even know it started. Oh, yes, Michael, that's right. Your tutor asked me to tell you that if you don't turn up again next year, then he and the dean might have to seriously reconsider your grant. Oh, well, you can tell my tutor I've still got the photographs of him and the dean. Oh. I'll ask for one of those PhDs next year. Ah, That works. Summer holidays. Twelve weeks with nothing to do, and the sun's shining already. What's she doing there? Remind you of when you were little, and you used to sit in the garden in only your underpants. <laughs> you used to put loads and loads of fruit down them and pretend to be pirates. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I mean, when your mummy and daddy went out, you used to take off all your clothes and pretend to be snakes by wiggling about in the sandpit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was God. terrible. I sat in the big hall and put my pack of polos on the desk and my spare pencil and my support gonk and my chewing gum and my extra pen and my extra polos and my lucky gonk and my pencil sharpener shaped like a cream cracker <laughs> and three more gonks with a pack of polos each and lead for my retractable pencil mm. and my retractable pencil mm. and spare lead for my retractable pencil <laughs> and uh, chewing gum mm. and pencils and pens and more gonks mm -hmm. and the guy said stop writing please oh <laughs> damn you really must tell me that story again sometime <laughs> Neil you've got the intelligence of an ant has he? Neil <laughs> <laughs> do you go in discos? I think you know that humans can actually build bridges really? how do I get them into the disco? <laughs> oh shit Oh, they are pissing on him. things about summer is tea on the lawn. Yeah. Unless, of course, you're an ant. In which case, it's a real bottomer. 
No, no, Vivian, no, it's a bummer. Summer is a bummer. Oh, God, now you're such a killjoy, aren't you? <laughs> hey, everyone, I bet I know what Neil writes in public lavatories. Look out, killjoy was here! Well, he was trying to kill himself oh, most yeah, of the first yeah, series. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Yeah, let's all bring Neil down. Yeah, he wanted yeah, to kill himself again. Let's the boredom. Would you? OK. Uh, <laughs> shut up, Neil, you ugly poo-faced git! Oh. Your turn, Michael. Oh, uh, thanks, Pip. All right, what's ugly, smelly and boring and is standing in front of me called Neil? <laughs> <laughs> me. Perfectly correct. <laughs> you all really hate me, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Yes, we do, Neil. <laughs> Damn. That is when we can remember who you are. Oh. Um, thingamajig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He's hulking up, brother. Let's go. Oh shit! Proper Lou Hulk. Oh, he's got him by the cock! Oh! What's happened to all your clothes, Neil? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I better just go upstairs and lie down for a bit, actually. <laughs> God, I hate him. He's a fool, he's a drip, he's a snake. And he's a bloody eavesdropper. I heard that, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your face, Sauce, my kids, can't you say I'm busy? Darren, stop that! Yes, this isn't the good life. Here. Don't put your tongue in Rover's ear, it's very unhygienic. I'm all serious, brains taste like. <laughs> all right, Granny? Granny? She's too busy with her voodoo. Can I go for a walk? I shouldn't think so, Darren. I've just nailed your feet to the floor after all. <laughs> Rosemary, tell your mother to keep that stupid bird quiet. First, you're gonna wait up, stick both of them in home and have done with it. <laughs> oh, oh, God. You've been put in the food. Sam Palpitations. Whoa. I don't know who said you could use my room. Actually, I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, I've yeah. got a pretty good idea, too. Run, you guys. Oh! What? Never mind this violence seems boring today. <laughs> Damn! Give him the mackage and the smackage. Got him. Where's Vivian? Well, he said he was going inside to water his plant. His plant? Strange that such a ruthless and sadistic maniac as Vivian should care for a begonia. <laughs> Must have had it two years now. And it was dead when he got it. <laughs> oh. Still, give him his credit, he's watered it every day. Only because he can't be bothered to go upstairs to the laboratory. <laughs> bored, 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 bored. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I like how he wouldn't. Well, why don't we play a game? Oh, he wouldn't God. dare hit my. No, come along. What about Botty Jelly, where you have to guess the identity of the famous person? What about Jelly Botty, where you have to eat 18 curries? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. No, come on, come on. Let's play Botty Jelly. Come on, I'll start. <laughs> I'm A. What? No, I'm A. Banana? Curious, George? A banana. No, no, no. Many little hat. Give me your hat. No, no, no. Look, you've got it wrong. Oh. My name begins with the letter A. Well, you mean Rick isn't your real name? <laughs> yes, of course it's my real name. But it begins with an A. No, because it doesn't begin with an A. It wouldn't be Rick if it began with an A, would it? Well, it could be a silent A. Eh? No, no. He spells it with a silent P. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Take got him. Vivian. Yes. Very funny. It must be at least five minutes since you made that joke. I don't think. And, while we're on the subject, don't think I don't know exactly who drew that thingamajig on the back of my curriculum vitae. Well, I'd like to know what your hobbies are, Rick. Yes, well, Vivian, all I can say is tiny things please tiny minds. Yeah, and with a thing that tiny, you're going to be hard put to please anything. <laughs> oh. Well, listen, Vivian, it's not how small it is, it's what you do with it that counts. Yeah. Uh, look, can we get on with the game, please? <laughs> this conversation's getting rather tedious. I was just beginning to enjoy myself. Look, look, look. I'll give you an example, right? Now. I think of a famous person, right? Okay. Say Neil Armstrong. 
And then I give you the first letter of their second name. In this case, A. And then you have to guess who I am. Right? Yeah, all right, okay. Right. All right, let me have all a right. Uh, Are you Neil Armstrong? <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean, yes, I am. <laughs> but you're not allowed to ask me directly, you see? You have to say something like, uh, were you the first man on the moon? <laughs> were you the first man on the moon? Good. Now, supposing I don't know who you're talking about... Neil Armstrong. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Uh, but supposing I didn't know that... You'd be pretty stupid. I already told you three times. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, say I'd forgotten... Vivian, then get the bat. you get to ask me if I'm a man or a woman. <laughs> Pervert! <laughs> oh, this game's stupid! Look, start again, start again. I'm S. S. Were you the first man on the moon? <laughs> Are you a 12th century druid and political activist? Ooh, ooh, yes, I know this one. Oh, um, oh, God, oh, that was on the tip of my tongue. Um, uh, oh, no, it's no good. You have to tell me, Michael. Ken Smith. Ken Smith, of course. OK, are you dead or alive? Wait a minute. A 12th century druid and political activist, Ken Smith. You sure, Michael? So I'm sure. I only made it up just now. <laughs> oh, honestly, people, people, people! How are we going to play this game uh, properly? Or... I've got one. OK. Do you make an enormous amount of money by sticking your fist up a duck's bottom? <laughs> no, I'm not Keith Harris. <laughs> no, no, he's going to give you the HRS. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He's still got the bat, bro. If we give up, can we stop playing the stupid, boring game? Yes, of course he can, of course he can. We give up. <laughs> and, and I'm the winner and I'm the best person in the house? Yes. Right, I'll tell you then. I was Paul Squires! <laughs> Who? Surprise! <laughs> Cricket. Yes. yes! Oh shit. Hey. Yep, you're the stumps. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> I'm the what? Shut up, you nerdy! Surprise! Oh! <laughs> Absolutely body. Six. six? It would have been six if you killed him, Michael. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's 22. Fair enough. Um, I don't want to play this game anymore. Rick, shut up! <laughs> what's up, Mike? Nice one, Viv. Time for tea. You win. Oh, what's my price? Oh, the ashes, of course. All you've got to do is burn the stumps and they're yours. Right. Oh. Surprise. Well, the shock, really, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone deliberately set fire to you during a cricket match. <laughs> oh, nice. Shut up, Rick. No one's on fire. <laughs> Neil, it's very rare that you interest me, but today you have. Wow. Why would you keep coming in here, carrying a cake and saying surprise? It's my birthday. Oh. <laughs> now, you knew that anyway, and we don't care, so where's the surprise? <laughs> well, I baked a cake. A cake? Can a cake dance? Can a cake get you drunk? Will a cake let you put your hand up its jumper? <laughs> No, Mike, but it's a cake and I've baked it and we're having a party and you're all invited because you're my friend. Well, at least you pretend to be my friend. Well, you don't even pretend to be my friend, actually. In fact, you all hate me. In fact, if I was in hospital, right, dying, you wouldn't even bother to come and visit me, would you? Because you all hate me so much. Whoa. Just like my mum. In fact, everybody hates me, right? But anyway, we're having a party and you're all here anyway, so you might as well enjoy yourselves, right? Stop that! Stop it now! Go on, rub it off! Don't do it. Oh, now look what you've done. Ah, oh, shit. Get picture back before Elephant Head comes on and starts singing. Oh, no. Oh, oh God, it's Elephant Head. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, great. Great. Uh, I'm glad you could make it to my party. Well, thanks for inviting me, Neil. I so rarely got a chance to go out these days. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, oh, um, excuse me. I'll, I'll just have to go and circulate. Uh, That's right. Later, right. okay? Uh, hi, Mike. It's going well, isn't it? Vivian, get the bat. Uh, you know, I was really worried before. You know how worried you get before a party. You know, like, you know, is everyone going to turn up and everything? <laughs> 
You know, this is great, isn't He's it? He's lost it, bro. Yeah. Poor dude. Yeah, just about everyone I invited is here. <laughs> Neil, where's the booze? Yeah, hippie! Where's the bloody lager? I was drinking something with me. And the girl just looked straight through me. So I had a pint of orc. And now she's gonna screw me. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, what about wait, baby wait. shop? One glass of that and I'm anybody's. Wait, what did the text say? I missed it. And now she's gonna screw me. Stay witty and sexist to the bottom of the glass. <laughs> well, what about baby shop? One glass of that and I'm anybody's. Then it's a bit of a pity that absolutely nobody wants you then, isn't it? Oh! Rick, shut up. Yeah. Or I'll tell everybody in this room that you've got an iron-on cartoon worm on the front of your wife front that says, Girl Date. <laughs> You've been going through my wife friends, have you, Vivian? I suppose you fancy me, is that it? Yes! As a matter of fact, I do, Rick. I really, really fancy you. And I want to give you a big girly kiss on the bottom. Oh, oh Mike, Mike, Vivian's gone all funny. Oh, he says he wants to kiss my bottom. Oh. Did I say kiss you on the bottom? I oh, beg my pardon. I meant to say, stick a pickaxe through your spinal column! That rhymes. Oh, my party's having a row. Yeah. No booze, you see, Neil. Temper's free. Yeah! I'm very sober and very, very bored! Oh, wait, wait, I know. TV time. Yeah! Yeah. Not the Queen. Oh, come on, they're doing closing down. It's only half past nine. It's BBC One, Rick. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> not this band again. They're always on. <laughs> <laughs> what about some Hawkwind or Marillion? <laughs> yeah, shut up, you fascist Tories. No one tells me what time to go to bed. Go to bed, Spotty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh, turn it off, Neil. No, this is really good, this, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How many TVs have you broken at this point? Oh, Vivian. I was just getting into that. He even I ate one. Oh, you deserve to die. This is the end. I'm not getting no Whoa. future. Bastard. <laughs> Thank goodness I haven't got to stay here all summer with you ghastly so-and-sos. I can't wait to get home. Oh, sorry, Rick. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. You had a phone call this morning. Oh. Did I? Oh, it's probably for Mummy wanting to know what time Jane I'll be getting. Yeah. Honestly, she gets so overexcited when she hears I'm coming home. <laughs> She's probably started making scrummy shepherd's pies already. Actually, Rick, I don't think she'll be making any more shepherd's pies. And Daddy, I mean, all right, so he's uh -oh. an old square. And maybe he does vote Tory, but he's got where he is today by hard slog. And he's got to put tax concessions first. <laughs> Daddy's just going to be chuffed to bits when he hears about my exam results. <laughs> Touch wood. <laughs> of course, we argue about politics and things all the time. <laughs> Did he ask about my exams? Uh, I don't think so, Rick. Uh, well, he wouldn't be able to, really. I wonder if they've redecorated my bedroom. Because <laughs> they're always on about wanting to do it, but I'll never let them do it. Patrick, your parents died this morning. I mean, I suppose it's a bit childish to have aeroplanes on your wallpaper, you know. <laughs> but I mean, they are blue, you know, and I am a boy. The <laughs> slow zoom in. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> my parents are dead. So I guess you'll be spending summer here like the rest of us. I can't believe it. My parents are dead. You think that's bad? <laughs> yes, I do, actually. What's it to you, piss face? Shut up. You're ruining my holiday. Ruining your holiday? What about my holiday? Both my parents are dead. The selfish bastards! <laughs> I'm going to spend the whole summer with them. Oh, shut up, 
Rick, right? Shut oh. up, listen, right? Just for once, right? Like all the bad things that have happened to you, right? As all those things have happened to me before. Twice as bad and for twice as long, okay? So shut up. Don't oh, yeah. shut up yourself! Both of you shut up! Everybody shut up! Who are you telling me to shut up? Yeah, who are you? A cinema commissioner? Maybe he thinks he's giant haystacks! Or Jose Feliciano! Someone with a girl's name anyway! Ooh. <laughs> nice! I look on the bright side, guys. At least the holiday can't get any worse. God damn it. Put on your 3D glasses now. All right. Hey, boys! Oh, no! God damn it. Hey, hey, guys. Some sod broke your window. Stupid 3D shows. That's 18 pounds you owe me. <laughs> Go away, Bolovsky. This is a private party. Ba, 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 blan. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, some sod broke your chair. Damn it. That's what happens when you have parties. That's another 27 pounds you owe me. George, do you think you could come back later? Yeah, like. I'm afraid this is very times. No. Mr. Belovsky. I got him. You're the worst landlord we've ever had. You oh. think I'm the worst landlord you've ever had? She bought oh, a copy of the cheap thing. I got him. <laughs> oh, <that's> so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That's pretty good. That was amazing. Yeah. Okay. Now, we find out all the beautiful items that Jersey hasn't given you, the beautiful Western consumer items, and let us see what you have done with them. Number one, a beautiful television set. Smashed! Yes. That's 97 pounds you owe me. Number two... <laughs> Number two is... <laughs> Got him. Number two, one beautiful Afghan carpet that I bought at Topshop. Well, that's all right. Yeah, it's got a few blood stains on it, but... And some pew. <laughs> <laughs> Is this house a wildlife park? Do we say, I've seen the elephants at Jersey's house? No, we don't. Okay, I'll charge Yeet. you 2,000 pounds for parking that there. <laughs> and finally, number three, one beautiful Huntley and Palmer style fridge. Oh. Oh, no. I never knew I wore a wig. Me neither. <sighs> the bad news is, you owe me 1,400 pounds in back rent Damages and hire for all your fancy swimwear over the wow. last 17 years. And thus from now, you are all evicted. Oh, bloody heck! Hello, let me introduce myself. I am God. Oh. You didn't expect me to be a woman now, did you? No. Welcome to your Jetsy Holmes show house. Is the 3D joke yes, what a great house it is. And we don't need to use some old actor flying upside down in a helicopter to sell you a Jetsy home. Because Jetsy homes are great. Oh, they're crazy, you know? You get furniture with the emphasis on comedy. It's zany. It's crazy. It's wild. It's the wackiest house on television. Why, if it isn't so, may God strike me dead. <laughs> The way that you run and the way that you walk is all body talk. The way you move your hips and the way that your lips hold your cigarettes. If you're gonna laugh, if you're gonna cry, oh, is this the music number? Give it away with your body talk. Every time you breathe and every time you sneeze, body talk. If you're having a good time, or just plain bored or undecided. If you're thinking of me passionately, oh, oh. I can see my body talk. <laughs> can you hear? My body talking. Can you hear? My body talking. Do you hear? My body shouting. I'm making so much noise with my body. Well, make his body talk in a minute. Yeah. Get the bat. Oh shit. Oh shit, he breaking it down, homie. <laughs> Complaining about Rick, you always said you wanted to live on the road. <laughs> Thatcher's Britain. Thatcher's bloody Britain. Look at me. I'm young. I'm pretty. I've got five O levels. 
But I'm a good grades as well, considering I didn't do a sod of work because I'm so hard. And look at me now. Homeless, cold and prostitute. Destitute, Rick. Oh, glory yeah. we be and save us, Mike, do we have to mince with birds? Anyway, so what? I can sell my body for a few good times if I want. What the hell? Who cares? Okay. I'm gorgeous. I am sex. Women want me and they're prepared to pay. So don't you give me your phony morality. It's dog eat cat in this world and you won't find me in a tin of pedigree chum. You can't be a destitute, Rick. Why not, Prudy Square? Well, who'd want to go to bed with you? <laughs> Look, Dawn's coming up. Hi, oh, nice. Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Oh. Hi, Dawn. Hi, boys. Haven't seen you since the end of term. What are you doing sitting in the gutter? We got slung out of our house by a complete bastard. Oh, no. He's dead, mind. though. Let's go back. The results of our finals are through this morning, so that should cheer you up. I've just been down to the post office to get mine especially early, because I'm such a girly swat. <laughs> I, I knew I was going to do brilliantly, and I did. Ciao. Vivian, get the bat. Uh, Don, Don, uh, hi. Uh, uh, obviously, you're feeling pretty good about everything. And uh, I was wondering if you fancied, uh, you know, celebrating by uh, letting me show you a really good time. <laughs> hey, obviously, for lots of money, you know. All right. What? All right, how much have you got? Oh, no, no, I mean, you pay me. <laughs> you must be joking. Oh. Oh. Here comes the postman. Vivian, why do you keep telling us what's just about to happen next? Because it's a studio set, Michael. Ah. And they can't afford any long shots, you see. Good morning, meine kleine Freund Lisha. What the fuck? Hey, hell, give them a uniform and they think they're Hitler. <laughs> I have spot your exam results. Oh my god. I took the liberty of opening them. I didn't think you'd mind. Exam results? Great! I Sorry, hope they guys, paid this man the well gutter. for this. There's a lot of big bucks these days out there for the right face of the degree in domestic science. That's one thing I will say to Mrs. Thatcher. She certainly put this country back on its feet. You have come bottom in the whole world. Oh. <laughs> Who came top out of us? You did, Neil. Nice. Then Mike, then Vivian, then Rick. <laughs> Damn. You bloody little swat, Neil. You bloody little swat. I came top out of us. <laughs> Who cares about exams? Who cares about life? Who cares about me? Wow. Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> oh. I just don't care. I care. Oh. I'm used to high and easy living. I know all about dirt. When I was a kid, I had to eat it. And I'm never going back. You hear me? What? I said, I'm never going back. <laughs> yeah. And I swear now that whatever I do, I'll never be poor or hungry again. OK, guys, I've got a plan. Nice. Now, listen very carefully. Right. You all got that? Yeah, yeah. We just go. <laughs> Fascist big bank. Like, don't you think that, like, you know, Good robbing hat. a bank is like, well, it's tantamount to, to stealing, really? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's do it. White Riot, stand down, Margaret. I'm a child of the recession. I got hate in my eyes. Ask for me tomorrow, and I'll be gone because I'm on a one-way ticket to oblivion, and I'm going to raise hell getting there. Just right. have Vivian yeah. do it. Now let's get in there and do it. Yeah, yeah. What, you mean now? <laughs> I've got the stocks, Michael. What? You said we had to have stocks on our heads. Stockings! <laughs> our tights! Ugh. I'm not putting my head where some hide girl is bottoms be. <laughs> I will. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter anyway. We don't need a disguise. This is a one-off job. All right, take these. Oh. Now, don't ask get... any questions. Just say I didn't get them at Tesco's, OK? Oh. Didn't get them at Tesco's, OK? <laughs> now, for God's sake, don't go losing your heads and using them, that's all. Why not, Mike? Yeah, come on. Robin Hood, Barter Meinhof. <laughs> Those bank clerks didn't have to become bank clerks. They knew the risks when they took the job. Let's just get in there and let them have it. We can't do that, Rick. If we do that, there's a very slight chance that they'll discover these are water pistols. <laughs> ah. Oh, brilliant, Mike! Right, has everybody got their alibis? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Vivian? It was Rick! <laughs> it was Rick. Rick. It was me! What's your alibi, Mike? I don't need one, Neil. I'm the guy who phones the police. <laughs> OK, Viv, stay out here with the engine running. And remember, the getaway car is the most essential element in any robbery. Message received and understood! Right, this is it! Dog day afternoon! Simply look at the place, it's completely packed. 
Why don't they put more staff on? Yeah. And it would be really bad, because, like, if we join one queue, then the other queue's bound to start moving really quickly. <laughs> and then if we join the one that's moving really quickly, then the one we were in the first place will start moving really quickly. <laughs> and anyway, whichever queue we're in, the guy in front of us is bound to be from the penny arcade across the road, like, hashing up for a whole year with millions of pennies. There. All right, Mr. Real Robber, the manager will see you. Oh. <laughs> it's loosely simple. All we do is join separate queues. The one who gets to the front first starts the robbery. Brilliant. <laughs> Watch out the bank, can't please? Good morning, sir. What's your name? All you need is a steady job, a lot of cash, and a reference from your bank manager. Hello. Do you work here? Yeah, the penny arcade across the road. Son of a bitch! Now, I must tell you that I push the alarm button and the police will be here at any moment. Shut up and keep putting the money in the sack. Fine, of course, yes. Well, I mean, of course, there's long queues. The banks are only open for about five minutes a day. <laughs> so the only people who can get into them are unemployed people. And what are they doing going to banks when they're not supposed to have any money? That's what I'd like to know. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Hello. Um, Good morning, sir. Yes, hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Shut up. Excuse me, if you'll forgive me, but this is our good morning window where customers may experience the nice face of the bank. For financial transactions, please try and have the other windows. Look, I'm not blubber well queuing up again. All I want to do... Everyone inside the bank, this is the police. Please be calm. The robbery is taking place. Lie down on the floor and await further instructions. We have the place surrounded. Daddy pigs! They might have let me finish my sentence. Mike, the bank's being robbed. Quick, get down on the floor or you'll get hurt. Neil, we're doing the robbery. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, we've got no choice. We'll carry on with the robbery. If the police won't let us out, we'll shoot the hostage. Yeah. Let's shoot Neil. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, OK. I mean, if you think it'll help. <laughs> I don't mind. I mean, after all, it's only water pistols. <laughs> I thought I told you that was our little secret. Water pistols? Good morning, sir. Neil, you've just ruined everything! I didn't even get a chance to shout, hands up! Give me the money! What? Bloody hell! Quick! Go, 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 go! <laughs> wow, Vivian actually got the car. Get in the car, you idiot! Leave without him! Oh shit. Yeah, well. What have I done? <laughs> Come on, Boop. There's no time for that now. Drive, you moron. My beautiful, beautiful car. Oh, no. The pigs. This is it, guys. I'll see you later. Dog. Oh, yellow chicken. <laughs> Forget about your car, Vivian. Start life again without it. After all, you still got SPG. Yeah. I don't think so, Michael. He was asleep on the radiator. Oh, no. <laughs> See you later, you little whip. Look, Vivian, we've got our whole lives ahead of us. It's just that we'll be spending them all in prison. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh no! Kool-Aid man? Huh. We went black and white. What the fuck? How? <laughs> Couldn't afford a color camera for this one, I guess. There we go. What you need to do yes, is watch right. the road. Judas Stubbs! Judas Stubbs! <laughs> yeah, fantastic, we can all play charades. Charades! Ha! More like nudie broad games! Jesus. What's the difference? There'll be plenty of chicks for these tigers on the road to the promised land. 
This is it! It's really happening! Who needs qualifications? Yeah. Who cares about Thatcher and unemployment? Yeah. We can do just exactly whatever we want to do! And do you know why? Because we're young ones! Hey! Boys, crazy, mad, wild-eyed, Title drop. Anarchists. Look out! Oh, God. <laughs> Not an advertisement! It might be okay. That was close. Yep. Oh. Well then. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why uh, people said I should watch this one last. <laughs> Honestly, them straight dying is the perfect end. Like that's that's about as good as. Oh, they're doing it in alphabetical order. Well then, rest in pepperonis. Oh, the postman was actually played by Lenny Henry. Well, he probably did get paid well for that then. Well, death by Cliff Richard, huh? <laughs> Honestly, that's that's perfect. Like that's just perfect. That that's not. There there's not a better way of going about that than that. That that that's honestly, I, I think that's I I don't know how you end a show like this, but that's how. Yeah, like I I couldn't think of how to end a show like this, but that's the answer. That's the perfect way right there. Well, um, overall, uh, really fun show. Um, I think I definitely, I don't know if I could pick a favorite episode, but I think I thought this, uh, personally, I, I'd have to say I think the second series was a bit stronger than the first. I don't think the second series had any weak episodes, uh, while the first series had at least one. Um, so just based off that, I, I'd have to say I liked the second series a little bit better. Great fucking ending, and, and it makes sense considering they fucking died as to why people... Uh, wanted me to watch this last. I wasn't sure if this was gonna actually gonna have a conclusive ending, but yeah, I mean that's how you do that. Fair enough. Um, so add this to the um, completed shows pile, along with what is what do we got? Father Ted, IT Crowd, um, Fat Peter Kafing, Phoenix Knights, Max and Patty. We just completed a show recently, Faulty Towers. Is that it? That might be it. I'm not entirely sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed all my reactions to the young ones. I hope you enjoyed my last one. And uh, that is going to do it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch where I stream every single day, my second channel for recent reviews, my Twitter. If you want to follow me on my Patreon, if you want to support me on my daily motion, all those things are in the video description down below. Also in the video description is linked to the community Reddit the community ray as well as the twitch vods channel and thank you to all my patrons currently named in the video description for your support me my channel if you didn't know you could be a patron of me for as little as one dollar or one pound and in addition to getting named in the description you get access to reaction videos as well as the reading comments up to a day early sometimes more uh with all that being said though my name is taffrey steens my 12th and final reaction to the young ones i'll see you guys next time bye